Laco Cuxhaven Navy Watch. Today in the review. Let's go! Hello and welcome everyone, Konstantin aka Mr. B back with another review today with a review of Laco Cuxhaven. Guys, transparency. Laco did reach out to me, ask whether I would be interested to do a review of one of their watches. I picked the Cuxhaven because I read about it in the watch forum, a German watch forum, and I kind of liked it. I never actually did a review of a marine, of a navy watch on my channel, so this is for me a good opportunity. I'm not paid here, I'm not getting any benefit out of it, I just have new content for my channel. So guys, let's check out the piece, let's change the perspective and see what the LACO has to offer. All right, guys, you know the drill. Let's get the technical data and specifications out of the way first. Inside of the LACO Cuxhaven ticks the LACO 98 movement, which is an ETA 6498.1, very beautiful, decorated. We do have here a non-hacking manual windable movement, but as mentioned, very beautiful. And I think it fits well the watch with its diameter of 42.5 millimeters. The lug width is 22 millimeters, height of the watch is cuff friendly 11 millimeters and what I do like here are the 100 meters of water resistance. A very clear design that is what you can find with navy watches and as well with pilot watches. I do like the Laco design here you do have a very clear dial of course the dial itself and the hands are filled with C3 Super Nova. I like the nice small second here. The case is brushed with small chamfers. The bezel as well does give a highlight to the watch and I think this works pretty well in combination with the beautiful blue tempered or tempered hands. The crown is not a screw down crown, it's a regular crown where you can directly wind the manual movement. It's very grippy, it's very good in its action, so overall I do really like the looks of the Laco Cuxhaven. Also the strap is a leather strap, very soft one, very comfortable one. I myself would prefer there a NATO strap. It's not true to the original, I know guys, but still in the summer, if you are sweaty, I think I would prefer there a NATO strap. In the same color scheme, I would say, the leather strap itself is very good quality, very soft, and I think it complements the watch. But yeah, overall, I think in terms of design, a beautiful classical design navy watch. I guess let's talk a little bit about what I don't like about the Cuxhaven. On the one hand, okay, I would wish that the movement is a hacking one so that you have a hacking second, but on the other hand, the 6498 is a beautiful movement, it fits perfectly the watch and it's more like true to the original, to the history. Um, still, hacking would have been nice. On the, one, on the other hand, the strap. I'm a bracelet fan. I would appreciate if Laco maybe comes up with a bracelet option with integrated lux. I think this could complement the watch or additionally um, offer a NATO. I think they do offer in their online shop a NATO strip. Yeah, and this is my personal opinion, of course. So I'm a bracelet type of guy. I would enjoy or love to have this watch as well and a bracelet. But this, these are my only complaints because, to be honest, <laughs> I chose this watch because I really like it looks, I really think it's a beautiful designed watch and yeah, there's not too much to dislike. What do I like, especially on this watch, um, on the one hand this is a beautiful edged bezel, it really gives something to the watch. Of course it's a classical marine design style element, but still I think this is very well made and what I do like too is of course the 100 meter water resistance. I think this is very, I do wear every, my watches every day. This is sort of like um, a bulletproof thing to have 100 meters of water resistance. So this is what I really do appreciate here. Alright 
guys, this concludes today's review of the Cuxhaven. I hope you had fun and enjoyed it and I'm eager to learn about your opinion. What do you think about Laco, about this particular piece? Share this in the comment section below. I'm happy to read your comments and to respond. Guys, I wish every one of you now a very happy sunny afternoon, a good start into the new week. Look forward to see you in the next one. Say goodbye and auf Wiedersehen. Euer Konstantin. Ciao, guys.